Here's a crazy story right here. We got cops shoot unarmed black man over alleged stolen sunglasses. Cops shoot an unarmed man over alleged stolen sunglasses. Check this out. They shoot a man unarmed. Unarmed. Over alleged stolen sunglasses. I kid you not. Let's put up the picture of the family. Here's the family. Full mass. The family, a 37-year-old, Timothy Johnson, an unarmed black man, shot in the chest by police, is demanding to know why he was killed, claiming he posed no threat. Johnson was suspected of stealing sunglasses from a shopping mall in Tyson's, Virginia, last Wednesday evening. Johnson's mother, Melissa, told the Washington Post, he's dead from shop shoplifting, not robbing someone with a gun, not burglarizing something with a gun an unarmed shoplifter is dead now according to police johnson was at the tyson's corner center shopping mall around 6 30 p.m on february 22nd when he was reportedly concealing designer sunglasses whoa okay that must be a high crime when johnson left yeah oh yeah oh yeah we got we gonna take it down for just dealing sunglasses that's probably worth what fucking a hundred dollars maybe a little bit more it's not like he's robbed a bank or like that, or he's got thousand dollars of merchandise. The store, the anti-theft alarm was activated, prompting him to run. One side of the mall, Johnson ran across its parking lot into a heavily wooded area, about a quarter mile wide. A Fairfax County uniform police officer and a plainclothes officer pursued Johnson on foot. Police say they gave Johnson commands to get on the ground unclear the amount of time it took for police to give a verbal command when they fired gunshots exactly how many times police fired their guns also under investigation johnson was shot in the chest one time and police state they rendered aid until the ems arrived johnson was then taken to a hospital where he was pronounced deceased fairfax county police chief kevin davis told ABC News, and I quote, I don't want to speculate why the officers discharged their firearm. Davis also said the department is investigating if Johnson was armed. But so far, no guns or other weapons have been found. The county police confirmed the officers involved are now on restricted duty status. The body-worn camera footage will be released within 30 days, according to their narrative. The department announced a criminal investigation into the use of force is being conducted, and the officers involved will be publicly identified within 10 days. Mm. Police said Timothy was very well known to law enforcement and had a significant violent criminal history, but his mother disputes this characterization of her son. Now, anytime the police are wrong, well, nine times out of 10, if the police are wrong, what are they going to do? They're going to lead with a narrative that has absolutely nothing to do with the issue at hand. Once again, they're trying to build a case the other way. They're trying to build a case to justify the absolute killing of an unarmed individual for sunglasses. You know, it's exactly what cops do all the time, ladies and gentlemen. They'll do it. They'll just they'll the twisted narrative to re-around it to justify killing an unarmed black man whoa he posed a threat oh we were fear for our lives and safety that is the go-to what saying a words of cops these days you know and they're gonna say oh it's justifiable as well see that's what cops do they cover the tracks cover the bases they'll sit there saying with limited resources and facts and they'll say oh it's an ongoing investigation so we we have no comment at this time that's called cops playing one-on-one -on -one, covering the bases of their own asses damn it who in the hell runs after somebody for sunglasses? Yeah. Just be lazy and let it go. At least somebody will be alive. Sunglasses. Does that make you feel good? I'm talking to the cops. You went home that night. You went home that night. Maybe you have children. Maybe you have a family. And you killed someone. Sunglasses. You know, most cops I hear you're saying is, hey, score one for the good guys. Yeah, that's that is if you take a bad guy on the street or you take him to jail. Do you, do you still hear cops these days say, yep, score one for the good guys. Yep, uh, bad guy's dead. We good to go home. 
Do you think cops still say that? I bet you, I bet you 50 bucks they do. This is why people like you talking about the cops, you got to go to prison. Examples have to be made here. Yeah, that's manslaughter, because at least. You're not judge, jury, and An executioner. executioner. You work for us. You're a peace officer. Share your thoughts here. I'm disgusted, and the chief needs to shut up now. Yeah. They have the body cam footage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, whether they know they're going to release it, they, they know exactly what happened. That's the right. chief statement goes on, we don't know what we don't know right now. Yeah. At some point in time, that's the what chase, the chief's something doing. happened. And the chief is just covering the officer. That, well, we don't know. We have. We, we're, we're 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 looking into it. We're different now, motherfucker. You know what happened? It's right there. It's plain as day. But you just want to cover your your own ass and the department and the officers for yeah. It's a it's a cover up. That's what they're doing. You stop and to muddy him up, the deceased. Okay, over sunglasses. What made you chase him? Stupid pills. It's like Rudy Giuliani 20 plus years ago saying, well, he's no altar boy. When the police shot dead a man for no good reason, he actually was an altar boy. Okay? Yep. Actually was one. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Yep. We're going to continue to follow that story. I think that story will have a significant development within a few days. Yeah. It's just like when Amber Geiger broke into the apartment of a, not her own apartment. She went to young, another man's. He was just watching, eat some snacks, watching college football. And she, yeah, she shot a man. People were like, well, it is what it is. No, fuck. That's why the bitch is a fucking prison. But she'll be out in a couple of years because she's a, an ex-cop. Because they're going to say, oh, she was stressed out. Anyways, I'm out here. My job. Peace out.